Hey, it's me, TB, and today I'm bringing you my TBR for the Trick or Treatathon, which is in its third year. And just as in the previous years, I'm one of, I'm one of the co hosts. Here I am to give you my TBR. So, this is gonna be kind of a weird, a weird situation for me to explain because I'm gonna be totally honest and say I am doing something very fucking weird, and hopefully, I can explain it better. But basically, I have like a more physical TBR and a more like audiobook TBR, mostly because like I most I do most of my reading at work via audiobooks. So like a lot of the stuff I want to read is not available in audio in, in audiobook form, which becomes a problem, you know, obviously. So I do want to kind of get to the habit of reading of reading physically, and in doing that, I'm going to start off by reading very simple books again, just to kind of get into the habit, of, like, you know, getting to you know like short chapters, fast conclusions. Um, I don't I don't need like a lot of like brain cells for this, so that's gonna be the more physical TBR, which will like actually see me reading if you go on to our live shows and stuff. Whereas my like, more audiobook TBR is gonna be very like whatever I want. I do have a few things I kind of want to get to, but you know I probably won't. But like if I don't get them, you know it's not a big deal, obviously, um, because in theory my physical my physical TBR is what I is what I created to kind of hit all the prompts. However, I do want that to have its own separate vlog, you know? Basically, all of that confusing shit aside, what that means is that you will get my weekly vlogs. Um, they'll mostly be audiobook updates, whatever I'm reading at the time. Whereas the physical books will be like in their own separate vlog that, are, that will be released later. Hopefully that, that all makes sense. And if it doesn't, guess what? I am just as confused as you are. So, you know, we are on equal terms, you know? On, we are on equal... Um, we are on an equal ground right now. And I will be hitting these uh, kind of out of order, at least for a little bit, just kind of like, um, you know, hit all of my hit all of my prompts in a way that will um, be a surprise. That, that will be a surprise um, and for maximum fun, you know? So for the prompt, Friday the 13th, um, which is basically, which is to read a book with a number in the title. I'm reading This, this Place, 150 Years Retold. I think from what I remember, it's basically a like, collection of graphic novel stories that focus on of the last 150 years of colonization through the eyes of indigenous writers and creators. I'm pretty sure this does focus most focus mostly on First Nations peoples in Canada, but I think there might be some overlap with um, the U.S. as well. Because I know this, this was published by a Canadian company and all that, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be like be mostly focused on First Na First Nations peoples. But I might be wrong. So yeah, it's basically a collection of stories told in graphic novel format. So yeah, that is one prompt done. So next up is Scream. This is the big reveal of what I'm reading physically that, that you won't see in like an actual vlog until who knows when. And that is Scream, a book, a book that keeps you guessing. And that is Pretty Little Liars. Uh -huh, surprise, surprise. This is book one in the very long series, which you can see the latter half right here, I think. Um, but yeah, basically there was this whole TV show about it which is very long and very bad towards the end. But basically, we have our main characters, Arya, Hannah, Spencer, and Emily. And they were once this friend group, but once their like leader, Allison, goes missing, they kind of like they kind of splinter off and go their own ways. And then a few, a few years after she vanishes, they start getting messages with secrets that only Allison knew. And they think it's her, but she turns up dead. So who is this person, you know, hounding them? And I think this is for the secrets because I literally don't remember anything that happens. I remember like the main plot twists, but I don't think I remember like how they're like done or anything. So it, it'll be interesting to see like what I can figure out, you know? So yeah, that is for Scream. So next up is Child's Play, which is to read a middle grade novel. And that's Fallless, which is book two in the Pretty Little Liar series. And yes, I am counting the series as middle grade because this is like released back when YA wasn't a thing, I, I don't think. And I mostly read this whenever I was in middle school. And that's when, like my main friend group was, was like reading it. So therefore I'm counting it as middle grade. And I think at least in like book one, it says like the children's imprint because it was like before YA it was like a thing or like teen literature really became like a main like mini industry within, within publishing. So technically this is like a weird like ground between middle grade, middle grade and YA, but I'm counting it as, as middle grade because of my own nostalgia. Is that cheating? May have, but I am a co-host, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. So next is Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is to read a book set in the real world. And for that, we have Perfect, which is book three in the, in the Pretty Little Liar series. I just love these covers so fucking much. Like, 
all, like all together they form like a very pretty like series of series of spines and then we have the covers and then the backs are also very pretty so yeah just a very like aesthetically pleasing collection to have i did at one point read this read the series up, up until like i think twisted which is like book 12 i think or like book 11 maybe 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 i got past that point um i don't remember but i don't remember reading past burn at the very least because i'm pretty sure i got crushed like i i pre-ordered it whenever it was first announced so i know for a fact I, so i know for a fact i didn't read anything after crushed which is book 13. so maybe i did read past twisted but i don't remember anyway this is book three so next is halloween which is a book with autumnal vibes and for that and for that there is unbelievable now listen hear me out i know this sounds very stupid but like i thought of it as like a joke then i like now i like look at the prompts and realize that basically this whole series fits almost every single prompt so and you know like why not and they're all and they're all like really short too i think every book is like under 300 pages pretty much so it's like you can probably knock one knock one of these out in like a day or two so so next is Summer Party Massacre, and that's to read a book during the live show, which technically any of these could count, but you know, for official, like, written down, you know, um, or for the official, like, written thing I'm going to be saying for this prompt, you know, to be Wicked, which is book five. They do do, like, a, do a little cover change for, like, books five through eight, which I don't like as much. The backs still look pretty cool, at least in my opinion, but I do definitely prefer the original covers, but we can't win them all. So, yeah. This is, like, the, like, second arc because books one through four like uh, like the first arc books five through eight are the second arc and then i think it's like books nine through 16 17 are the third arc so there is like a lore and shit within the series which i know sounds very fucking stupid but there are arcs and all that shit i know it's weird then you have the prompt my buddy valentine which is to read a book that features a romance or a couple this is killer and i read the inside you know jacket summary thing to check and there is in fact a romance in this book so it counts. But also, I'm pretty sure like every book has a, has at least like one romance going on. So again, any of these could count. This is a very nice combination of like purple and green. So that's pretty cool. Which I will say that, but I feel like as a whole, the whole series has very like interesting color combinations. Um, like I, I don't think there's a single one that I actually like hate how it looks, you know? So kudos to the like design team for like coming up with, with these colors because they are all very nice to look at. Then we have Nightmare on Elm Street, which is to read a book at night. For that, we have Heartless, which is book seven, I think, um, in, in the series. So great. And then for prompt seven, which is I Know What You Did Last Summer, which is to read a backlist book, I have Wanted, which is book eight. I technically have fit all the prompts. Um, there's also Pretty Little Secret, which is like a like middle of the series, like novella, novella collection, kind of. Uh, it basically takes place between books four and five and follows them during their like winter break which which is why i think it was like book three or four was my was my pick for a book that feels very very autumnal that's because i'm pretty sure books one through four happen during their like fall break as they enter into the new school year like from like august to like december i think because this is full of christmas stories them going on, on like winter holiday and all that shit so i think i'm pretty sure at least one of the first four books takes place during fall so i'm good this whole series makes me think of fall because like makes me, makes me think of school and like for like for whatever reason i feel like i associate school with like autumn the most and that might not make sense but it makes sense to me so fuck you so next up is the like potential audiobook so outside of the side of the tbr most of these should hit these prompts anyway so for like some reason i don't get to a pretty little liar book well first of all you can basically every single every single one of, the, one of those can hit pretty much any prompt so i should be fine so anyway here are the audiobooks that I might be listening to throughout the month. You'll probably see these in my dedicated vlogs to this read to, the, to this readathon. So I want to read the the conductors again. I'm pretty sure the audiobook for this one and the sequel are both on Scribd, and this and the sequel came out. I never got around to reading it, so I need to get on that. On this one, we are following our main characters Hetty and her husband Benji, who were who were conductors on the Underground Railroad, but in their world they have access to magic. Um, and now we're taking place after the Civil War has ended, um, and now they're using this magic, and now they're using this magic to kind of solve mysteries. And this one, they um, find a man with a strange mark carved into his chest that signifies like dark magic. So they're trying to figure out who killed him and why. And stuff ensues. There's a very cute scene in this that I, that I remember, um, that I remember involving 
a hairpin, I think. It's very freaking cute, and I can't wait to read that again. Um, because while this isn't like a romance series, there are like cute scenes throughout, uh, throughout at least book one. Again, I've not read book two, no idea. But I remember really liking book one, so I can't wait to experience it yet again. Um, and there is The Phantom of the Opera, which is a classic book, obviously. And this is on here mostly because I'm also doing a challenge to watch a lot of horror movies. Technically, I'm doing two challenges, but regardless, one of the movies I'm going to watch is The Phantom of the Opera from 1925. So I think it's fun, fun to like to like read this and then watch the movie after. So this so pretty much follows the same plot as the like uh, musical play, or basically the Phantom is, is haunting this opera space and people think, think of him as a ghost. However, for our own character, I assume Christine, he appears as her angel of music. He like gives her advice and shit, I guess. And except then whenever a man tries to court her, the Phantom becomes angry and shit happens, I guess. It's been a while since I've watched the musical, so I don't remember like the full plot. I remember like the big outline. So yeah, that'll be fun. I think this is pretty short. Yeah, it's like less than 300 pages. So even as like a classic, it shouldn't be like, or at least, or at least, or at least it shouldn't be like a very long drawn out book. There is Kingdom of Ash, which I have been almost done with the series for so fucking long that I just want to finish it. This is book, oh God, eight, nine in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Mass. So fun. What is the series about that I can tell you about that I can tell you about without like spoilers? Um, so our series starts off with our main character who is an assassin. Um, she is sent, she's in prison because you know her assassin shit. Um, she gets asked by the prince of her kingdom of, uh, kingdom of Ardalan, I think. Ardalan? Ardalan? <laughs> she gets asked Ardalan? Ardalan? Whatever. It's the fucking kingdom that we spend like most of the series in. Who cares? But she's asked by the prince and his little like guard friend if they will be, if she, if she will be his champion for this little competition to become the king's assassin. And if she wins, she will be like free, like technically. And all she has to do is like work as the assassin for the king and like kill people. Obviously, the plot becomes very much more complex because a lot of like plot reveals about I'm a character and the surrounding cast. Overall, I really like the series, re reading it through, but I just need to finish this one last fucking book. So here we are. Um, it's long as shit, which is why I feel like an audiobook is the most most likely thing thing to happen. And the audiobook kind of like comes and goes on on YouTube for free, so I'll probably be watching it there. Long series, but very good. Besides book three, which is shit. But anyway, overall, very good series. Also, there is Shakespeare's Dark Lady. Spoiler alert: she is not Shakespeare's Dark Lady, but since it's out, never was published. It's since been like confirmed that she is not his his Dark Lady. But anyway. Basically, this is a collection of the poetry of Amelia Lanier, who's a poet during during Shakespeare's time. And it's just interesting to read work from a female poet during that time period, because there are some some feminist themes present throughout. So that'd be fun. And again, pretty short. I think this is one of the few things that isn't available on audiobook. But still, like, I kind of want to get to it. But here it is. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll read a, like, poem a day or something like that. Who knows? Um, next up is another season one. I want to continue. Maybe. And that is Archangel Storm by Nalini Singh. I forget which book this is because he kind of came out like shit for me. This is like, I think book four or five. It, it's book five, I'm pretty sure. But I read this trilogy, up, read this series up to this point and we're liking books one and two. Three was kind of bleh and then four was, was, was kind of shit. So I'm hoping that book five like kind of turns around for me um, because of me and, and Nalini Singh aren't always on the same like wavelength kind of. So I kind of need spoke to like redeem the series for me or I'm, gonna, or I'm just gonna drop it because what is good it isn't like great it's basically in this world angels are real and i think it's like through the angels like blood they can create vampires and vampires are kind of like kind of like the worker bees of sorts for the angels and like every angel has like all the like main strong angels rule over their own little section of earth and our armored character is elena i think who ends up taking on a mission from the main, I think, Archangel of New York. Um, or, like, or maybe it's like North America, whatever. She takes a mission for Raphael and sparks fly, romance ensues, and she and she gets fucked a lot, basically. Hopefully the series like turns around for me because I really did like books one and two, I think. I might totally be, be, totally be fucking lying, but I remember liking at least book one. So I'm hoping book five is good again because I do want to like the series, but like it's just not working for me. Of course, that's just like not my like, tentative list of audiobooks TBR, you know, all of my audiobook TBR, but it could basically be anything at any time. <sighs> right now I'm currently making my way through the Ghosts of the Shadow Market audiobook 
and I'm feeling very tempted to, to just read the Last Hour series right fucking now. But I know if I do, I'm gonna forget everything before the, the third book comes out soon. So I'm, I'm trying to wait, but who knows. So yeah, long story short, all the audiobooks are very tentative, but, li but leaning towards them probably happening at some point. Because at work, I can usually, I can usually finish like, like at least like two or three books a week. And that's just reading on audiobook, not, not counting if I started re reading physically. So who knows? So yeah, that is my TBR for the trick or treat -a Keep your eyes out for future vlogs about my reading time, as well as keep your eyes out for live shows. I will be re I will be retweeting them whenever they whenever you get like a time figured out and shit. So expect those to happen at some point. And follow me on Twitter and shit so you can get all the updates as they happen. And that's all from me. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, subscribe, like, share, all of that. And hopefully I will see you next week.